on the farm and we are going to do something that I always love. We're going to, to turn three calves out of the lot where we've been feeding them hay all winter because there's no grass to be found in the winter time. Well, if you can look out here at the pasture, whoops, you can see green grass starting to grow. So we are going to turn those three calves out onto the grass and it's always so fun to see them enjoy green pastures after a meager winter. So here they come, I see them. Can you see them there? Coming around the edge of that shed. Oh, here's one on the run. He tends to be the wild one of the bunch. There they come. Oh, I think they like that green grass, don't they? Let's get a little closer and see what we see. There you come. They'll come around the corner of that shed pretty fast. We don't want them to get wild and crazy and come too fast though, or they'll get away from us and we don't want to chase calves this morning. <laughs> oh, they are kind of crazy. The younger they are, the more crazy they tend to be. How you doing, John? Good. Bring them steady. Whoa. See what I mean? They suddenly got crazy, didn't they? There, that's where we want them to be. Now we've got to close up that electric fence gate so they can't come back this way. Now, it's just electric fence around there and they're used to it, but when they're crazy, they can run right through it. So we just need them to calm down a bit so they don't do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hopefully they'll see that orange tape warning them of the electric fence and they'll stop. Oh, yes. That's scary stuff right there. We do not want to chase calves this morning. They should be hungry. First thing in the morning, so hopefully that'll keep them occupied eating that green grass and they'll just calm down pretty fast. A lot of times when you turn cows out on pasture, they'll go around the whole perimeter to check it out and learn where the boundaries are. Boundaries are a good thing. Hang on, little girl. I guess he's the little boy. I don't think so. He stopped just shy of that fence. The hard part is, is when they don't know where the boundary is and they just don't see it and they run right through it. You have to train an animal to know what electric fence is and to respect it and to stay in it. Calm down guys, calm down. They're gonna like this green grass, don't you think? It's a whole lot better than dried hay. By the way, do you guys know what hay is made of? It's just dried up grass is all it is. There is no grass in the winter time, so you have to prepare ahead for winter. You cut the grass, when the grass is tall in the summertime, then you let it dry for at least a couple of days, depending on what kind of grass it is. And then you bale it up, and that's what hay is, just dried up grass baled up. Now if you don't let that, after you cut the grass in the summer, if you don't let it dry before you bale it, two things can happen. For one thing, it can heat. The, the bale will heat up and even barns can be caught on fire that way with hot hay. And then secondly, if it doesn't heat too much to catch on fire, it can um, mold if you don't wait for the grass to dry well before you bale it up. Uh, I 
thought they were going to calm down, but they are getting calmer. I think probably the the touchy part is over. I think they've learned the boundary and they're going to calm down here pretty quick. And just enjoy a luscious breakfast of nice, fresh, green grass. One of my favorite parts of spring is being able to turn our cows out and our goats too on green grass. Fun times! Hey guys, you have yourself a great Saturday morning and we'll get back to work around here. Got some other things on the to-do list and you be sure and subscribe so you'll catch more fun adventures at Hickory Creek Farms.